According to a report in the city press, President Cyril Ramaphosa's stance on the RNC's resolutions, including expropriation of land without compensation, will be used as a basis to remove him from office, at the party's National General Council, in June 2020. The move will see Ramaphosa's deputy, David Marbuza, replacing him as the president of the RNC, and subsequently, the president of the Republic of South Africa. These prophetic claims, were made by EFF leader, Julius Malema, during the party's media briefing, in Bramfontein, Johannesburg, on Wednesday 10 April 2019. Malema said that an internal rebellion, against Ramaphosa, was brewing within the RNC. The reality of the situation is, the Ramaphosa won't finish his term. The man is stuck. If he dares remove people from the list, they are working on the ground, and they are talking to the branches. The National General Council will take place in June 2020. He won't come back. I can tell you now, Malema prophesied. Malema also warned why South Africans, who will vote for the RNC, the Tramaporsa is going to be removed, and that David Marbuza is going to be put in, as the president. We are in trouble, Marlema added. The RNC's Gawalting internal research poll revealed, that the party support among white people had increased since Ramaphosa was elected RNC president, in 2017. Marlema said that there was an arrogance among white South Africans, because they regarded Ramaphosa as their man. Cyril is not a pan-Africanist. He has a pro-white agenda. That is why there is a huge increase in white arrogance, Marlema said. We wanted to amend the constitution as in yesterday, we are very clear with what we want to do. The RNC, when they meet white people, they speak dear policies, and when they meet black people, they speak EFF policies. There is a general confusion in Tumamina. Their land position is confused. We do not want to work with the RNC because they are confused, Marlema said. Marlema said the confusion around the direction, which the RNC should take, has given Ramaphosa's enemies ammunition to remove him. He also claimed that the United Democratic Front, Cabal, which is now in charge of the state, may be behind the book, about RNC Secretary General, A.C. Magashuli, titled, Gangster State, Unraveling A.C. Magashuli's Web of Capture. The launch of the book, authored by Piat Louis Mibra, was disrupted on Tuesday night. On the Alexandra shutdown, Marlema said the protests were sponsored by the RNC, and was part of the party's election campaign strategy. There is no mess created by the deer. The only problem is that, the deer did not do anything about the mess they found there. The Alex Mafia must tell us where the Alex Renewal Project money is, Marlema indicated. Marlema also criticized the Johannesburg city mayor, Herman Mashaba, for failing to meet with Alexandra residents. He said Mashaba should have gone to Alexandra, and be humiliated. If you want to be a leader, don't be scared of being booed. Marlema also took aim at white South Africans, saying the only crime he committed in South Africa, was to demand that the white minority must come down from their high horse, and humble themselves. I am not begging white people to stay here. They have got two passports. They are half South African, and half British. They can leave quietly. Marlema also revealed that the EFF Member of Parliament, Timbing Kozi Rewula, had tendered his resignation from the party. Rawula has alleged that Marlema stole EFF funds. Marlema said he was suing Rawula for 1 million rand. Please check in the description box below for the links to the sources of this report. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.